find out who she is. Find out who your persona is, find, give her a backstory, and once you get that, it will slide into place. I do think it's a therapy, and I think it's a mask you wear. It's not as glamorous as everybody thinks it is. Who that? It's Nick. Hi, baby. Glenn said he's here. Glenn. Glenn. Ah, oh, fabulous. Everybody has different makeup styles and, and things to go with their kind of individual persona. Everybody is, is totally different. We all have different ways of doing things and different looks and, and everything else to, to go you know, with who we are. No one's perfect. They all have their own individual style, they all have their own individual pizzazz. There'll be a lot of pizzazz from the show tonight. I shall. I'm going to head downstairs, but um, I will meet you down there. Okay. Yeah, um, send what's her name. I think she wants to do something new. Okay. Mine's a bit more um, dark and and uh, kind of yeah. I like being not not mysterious, but it's kind of that dark sort of glamour. So I tend to do that and get it all ready. So then when I'm all dressed and everything else, it's all set and I don't have to do anything with it. Many people will say different things. It will be either the lashes will make you transform into your character or it will be the wig. When you meet all loads of lovely famous people and all that kind of stuff which you've all done, but sometimes it can be, well, it, most of the time it's really hard work. And people don't realise how hard you work sometimes. And they, they just think maybe we put a bit of makeup on and we put a bit of wig on or whatever and a dress and we, we make people laugh. Well, it isn't like that. And it's a lot, you know, people don't really realise how many miles we travel in the week and, it, and, you know, in the weekend. So it can be quite difficult, I think. But I wouldn't swap it for the world. You can say things on stage and you can... Um, say a little bit more than you would usually say and you're covered by a mask so no one can hurt you. Above all, fun, because that's what they like to do as a, as a drag queen. They're born performers and they like to have fun with the crowd.
I'm Jules Jones and I'm originally from East London. My drag has shaped my identity in, in so many different ways, in so many different layers, so many ways of trying to navigate life itself. I think when you, when you like see yourself from above and you're thinking, who is this person? Who, who am I? And you can never really say who, who is Jules, who is Martin? And then until when you find yourself in situations where you're giving a gift or if you're being in a, in a in very extreme circumstance, then you see who you are, the identity that you are as a person. Haha. <laughs> Piece of cake. On stage, for example, I am giving a gift. Here I am, I'm showing them Jules Jones. And that to me, I, is, is just evolving, evolving each time. Each time I'm walking out the door with the makeup on, when I'm interacting to people, the way I'm uh, reacting to them, giving to them, how they're reacting to me. So each time you're just learning something while the meeting people. I kind of like the 80s kind of glam rock. So I, I I love Madonna, 80s look, so I kind of go for that. I want people to know that drag exists because it's, it's, it's a form of entertainment. It is a gift to people to, to help them escape whatever moment that they're in. They can see that there is also drag that can help them Forget about yesterday, forget about the morning or the afternoon, and then have it there. And that is a fantastic option that you can have. It's to, to be in the moment with the drag queen and, and just appreciate you know, that 